battered economy and a broken people. Over the last 10 months, Mr. Speaker, we believe we have begun to restore the hope and confidence in our people. Our approach to governance has been inclusive. Our economy, without doubt, is growing again. Construction is up. Unemployment is down. More people are working today than when we assumed office. The number of small businesses is starting to expand. Exports have increased. Government is putting its fiscal house in order. We are reducing wastage in government. We are delivering better health care. Our homegrown program calls for shared sacrifice, but it brings tremendous benefits of over $300 million in grants and soft loans and significant debt relief. It also brings a stronger economy and a brighter future. Yes, Mr. Speaker, we are beginning to build a new economy. Four new hotels are coming and more. It means more jobs. Several major projects are about to begin in addition. This means there will be many opportunities for construct contractors and construction workers. Yes, Mr. Speaker, there will be at least 3,500 new jobs next year. We are helping our farmers, Mr. Speaker, to get the land by building more farm roads. We are protecting the income of our farmers by starting a crop insurance scheme. Government, Mr. Speaker, is building new schools. Examples, Holy Cross, McDonald College, Tam CC, and others. Mr. Speaker, Caraco will finally have its senior citizen's home in 2014. Mr. Speaker, soon our students will have tablets to connect them to the information highway. Mr. Speaker, government is not only protecting safety nets, but has increased it by $4 million. We are increasing opportunities for house repair by increasing home improvement program by $4 million. Government is also launching the soft loan scheme to help our people expand, expand their homes. Government is also investing heavily in our youth. An additional 1,000 young persons will join the new Imani program next year. They are our future, Mr. Speaker. Work on a, on a state-of-the-art stadium to promote sports tourism is about to begin. This is a defining moment for all in our country. Mr. Speaker, when we sacrifice together, we share the benefits together. Although we are moving into a difficult but necessary period, one in which everyone is called to go a little further for country and for each other and for ourselves. Let us, Mr. Speaker, go forward together with a strong sense of unity. May we therefore, Mr. Speaker, be all be inspired by Prophet Isaiah, found in chapter 40, verses 20 to 31, and I quote, Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is an everlasting God, the creator of all earth. He never grows weak or weary. 
No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired. And young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They're so high and on wings like eagles, Mr. Speaker. They will run, but not grow weary. End of quote. We will not faint, Mr. Speaker. May God bless the beautiful people of Grenada, Caracol, and Peter Martin. Thank you. just heard the delivery of the estimates of income and expenditure for the year 2014 as delivered by the Minister of Finance, Dr. Right Honorable Keith Mitchell, a budget that speaks to 933, 932, 530 million dollars short course about 50 plus of a billion dollar budget certainly not a billion dollar budget a delivery this morning that seemed to be thank you honorable prime minister and minister for finance for your we're hearing from the speaker of the house on the, the budget you have government business Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I beg to move the adjournment of this honorable house to 9 o'clock in the forenoon. Tomorrow, please, the Lord, 11th December 2014. 30. Honorable members, the question is that this honorable house stands adjourned until nine o'clock in the forenoon tomorrow, 2013.